back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher, you're inside the stitchery, and I'm so happy you're here today. Today is Barbie day. <laughs> today is the day that the Barbie movie comes out in theaters, and I'm as excited as the rest of the world. Um, <laughs> I know Oppenheimer also opened, so yeah, you know, if you are going to that movie, good for you. Um, I'm going to the Barbie movie. Uh, eventually, not this weekend. I, I, you know, that's too crowded for me. But I had to celebrate, obviously, because Barbie. I grew up with Barbie. I loved Barbie. I loved all the old Barbie movies. Who remembers that? Let me know. I was a total girly girl. Want to know the most ironic part? I hated pink. I know. I hated. I love Barbie, but I hated pink. I really did. I resisted it. But somehow, when it was on Barbie, it was okay. I don't know. I was not a pink person though. My favorite color when I was little was blue. It's kind of already always been some shade of blue pretty much. Um, but as an adult, I started to appreciate pink in all its glory. You know, here's to pink. Go pink. You know. uh, so for the Barbie movie, I wanted to create something because I really liked Disney bounding for um, the Little Mermaid movie. Here's me as Flounder. <laughs> and um, I liked crocheting flounder and uh, to, to go to the movies. And I wanted to do something for Barbie that wouldn't take me super long or, you know, something that was still costumey. So I made a bow. I used the Premier Just Chenille yarn and I made a little bow. It is a barrette. I attached it to one of these. You can buy these in bulk on Amazon. So I just made a little bow to just go in my hair, you know. Um, and I use the Just Chenille in, I think it's Flamingo. Yes, Flamingo. Um, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook for, um, oh wait, I, my Barbie hook. Eee. Don't you love it? I love it. Um, this says six millimeter, but I might have used a five and a half. I don't know. Anyway, I used five and a half or a six. It really doesn't matter. It's only that that much of a difference really shouldn't matter. Um, I guess just whatever look you like best. And I just did a big chain. I think I chained like 31. And then I went back and forth until it was as thick as I liked it, folded it in half, seamed up the middle, and then I made an extra piece, a little short piece to wrap around the middle, and there you go. Ta-da, there's a bow. Really, really easy, you guys can make it so easy. The hardest part was literally attaching it to the barrette. <laughs> that was not fun, but um, I did it, and there we go. I used to make bows all the time. You guys actually don't know that, because I've never shown them, but I used to make bows all the time, inspired by something. So that one is inspired by Barbie. I've made one that's inspired by Hank from Finding Dory. I've made one that's inspired by My Little Pony. I've, yeah, I like making inspiration bows. I might make more of those. Should I? Let me know. Okay, so if you saw my 1,000 subscriber video, which if you didn't, we have 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. Okay, um, I introduced you to Timothy T. Tot. This is Timothy T. Tot. T standing for tater, ha ha ha. And he is a tot. And a tot is my little creation that I like to make these simple little characters that can be wonderful little decorations or ornaments. Hint, hint. And um, I used his shape to make something for the Barbie movie. And who else would I possibly make than Barbie? <laughs> this is the Barbie tot. Is she not cute? I'm so proud of this one. Yes. I made the gingham pattern. So, so many stitches. <laughs> I had to pay attention so closely. And her little hair. And of course, this is my favorite part, the little bow. So this is of course inspired by this costume from the movie. Complete with hair bow. But what would a Barbie movie be without Ken. <laughs> so I made this Ken from the film. This is the Ryan Gosling Ken in his like, I don't know, jean mechanic looking outfit. Anyway, 
Yes, so we have Barbie and Ken taught. Now, there will be tutorials on my channel for certain tots, not these. I'm really, really sorry, but uh, the gingham dress, I'm not willing to make a tutorial about it, I'm sorry. But basically all you have to do is change color every single stitch. So let's say your first row is A, B, A, B, A, B. Your next row needs to be B, A, B, A, B, A, so that you have reverse colors on top. Okay, but before I made tots, I started out making mini dolls. So you've probably seen the WandaVision dolls I made in that one video. So these are my Wanda dolls, 1960s Wanda, regular 1960s Wanda as glamour. Yes, these are my patterns. I'm very, very proud of them. These are my mini dolls, and um, so I made Barbie ones, Barbies of the classic period. So of course we have to start with classic Barbie, <laughs> complete with the ponytail. I love it. So she is based off of original Barbie right there. Okay, and then next I wanted to do another original Barbie, but a little bit classy. So we did the black dress one where she sings, you know, that, you know the dress, this one. <laughs> Complete with pink handkerchief. I tried doing the rose, but it just looked like a big ball. It was not interesting, so we left it off. but she does have teeny feet and her necklace. And then I thought, well, I should make at least one from the film. I mean, I guess the black and white one kind of counts, but mm. So I really liked this outfit where she's in the car. You've seen it in the trailer. I haven't seen the movie yet, but she's in the car with Ken and he surprises her. And um, I really thought this outfit was cute. Now I have to say, finding what her skirt looked like took me about a million pictures to comb through and video footage. But if you can see in this particular picture, you can see her skirt is something floofy and shiny. So I made, we're just gonna call her Driving Barbie. This is Driving Barbie. And her skirt is made of an anti-pilling yarn because they are a little bit shiny. So you can kind of see that because it looks like her skirt is shiny in the picture. So I really love the braid. Look at it, I'm so happy. So that's what I made. That's what I made to celebrate Barbie. <laughs> So let me know in the comments, are you going to go see the Barbie movie? What are you hoping the Barbie movie will be like? Greta Gerwig made a video. She did an interview and they, they mentioned the 29 movies in classic film that she got inspirations of for the film. And I thought that was video was really interesting. So I would look that up if I were you. Hi, bonus feature Shannon here. <laughs> So I was about to end the video and I was editing my video and a new Barbie doll came out. Um, and I saw it, it showed up in my feed on my Instagram. And I recognized the outfit from the trailer and oh my goodness, I had an idea, I had an idea and I went for it. And I just had to stop this video to show you also um, if you saw my Amazon video and you know that there's something I've wanted for three years, I'm wearing it guys. My mom got me the pink one, the pink sparkly jacket. Will you see this a lot? Probably. Yes, because it's so cozy. <laughs> I love this jacket and um, I've been wanting it for three years. So, okay. And it's pink and sparkly, which is total Barbie core, right? So it fits the, it fits the video fine. So um, uh, this Barbie doll came out. I haven't seen anyone crochet this Barbie in this outfit. So I had an idea. If you remember from like 10 minutes ago in this video, I showed you Barbie Tot. 
complete with bow. Come on, camera, focus. There. Anyway. And I wanted to make that a tot, so I did. And you guys, I'm so proud. I love it so much. We're gonna call this, I don't know if she has an official name, Pink Jumpsuit Barbie. She's so perfect. So we've got the belt from the jumpsuit, we've got the collar, sunglasses with the pink trim, and the headscarf, which yes, I'm super proud of the headscarf. It took a little bit of trial and error, but I got it. My friends that I've already shown this to have had nothing but questions about her sunglasses. And yeah, I will totally create another tot of some kind when there will be a sunglass tutorial in there. So I don't know who that will be yet, but um, I can totally teach you guys how to make the glasses. Absolutely. So I am so incredibly proud of her. Ugh, she looks so perfect. Yes. Okay. So I just had to show you guys. Also, um, there are more Barbie tots happening. I had ideas and my brain just went, yeah. <laughs> I had to keep going. Oh my goodness. Um, I will either show them on here or my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see behind the scenes photos. I will show you the yarn. You'll probably figure out which Barbie this is or Ken. And um, yeah, you'll know. If you've seen the trailer, you'll know. white gold so if you know which one it is leave it in the comments um if you're the first one to get it right maybe i'll shout you out in my next video so that's just what i wanted to say and um timothy is very proud of how the tots are growing i think i think he likes it He's a man of few words, so we don't really know what he thinks, but I'm pretty sure he's okay with it. Let's get back to um, the other me who has the outro. It, it, take it away, me. Okay, so that's the video. I just wanted to show you all the Barbies I made. <laughs> Aren't they cute? These are the Barbies I made. These are the tots I made. Tell me what you guys think of the tots. There are tutorials coming for different characters later on this year. So are you interested in making any tots? Let me know. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Yarn Zebra family. I would love to have you back. We've got all kinds of things on my channel. I've got reviews, I've got flip throughs, I've got stuff I've made, I've got tutorials. I've got a beginner's playlist. So if you need completely from scratch, I got you. Okay, remember, life happens, yarn helps, and spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye.